Hello, everyone. Today we teach you to upgrade its full force. This is its car console. This car is older. The radio system is seriously aging, ready to upgrade it to an Android system. This is the upgraded Android screen. The appearance is very large. The function is very much. It is built-in wireless CarPlay Android Auto, through which you can use voice assistance, make phone calls, listen to songs, use online maps and a variety of applications on your phone. So do you want to know how to upgrade? Please watch the video. First of all, we remove the screw hole protection panel below the button panel. Then you can see it here has two fixed screws, both screwed it off. You can now disassemble the entire keypad panel. There is only one wire connection on the back of the panel, we pull it off and remove the panel completely. Now we remove this CD host and screen, because they are combined together. Only need to remove four screws. Take them off together and unplug all the connecting plugs on the back. Okay, we now remove the two air outlets on the button panel. It is fixed by the two sides of the buckle. One dismantling should pay attention to. Now that the disassembly is completed, we are ready to upgrade the installation. We first install the matching bottom panel on the back of the no screen. Then two disassembled air outlets are also installed on the no screen. We are starting to connect new power harnesses. First connect the canvas box. Then the plug on the harness is connected to the corresponding original car plug. Then connect other wires to the back of the new screen. This is the RCA wire. This is the video output wire. This is a USB cable. It has to. This is the radio antenna. This is the GPS antenna. This is a 4G antenna. This also has to. Then connect the other end of the radio antenna to the original car radio plug. Then connect the serial port of the case on the new power harness to the back of the screen. Similarly, connect the communication serial port. Connect these two yellow plugs. It is the role of reversing the impact. This is just the button panel plug connected to the back of the screen. Finally, we connect the screen power supply plug. Now we will install the new screen. Let us first install the screen above below the installation. Refixed the two screws below. Finally, the screw protection panel of the original vehicle is installed. Now that the installation is complete, we need to set up the canvas box. We now enter the factory settings, enter the password at canvas settings, select the agreement brand, 
select the car series, uh, select the model year, click OK. Note, the first setting needs to connect Wi-Fi. Because of the first installation, we also manually learn the button function on the panel. We enter such as settings steering wheel button learning click on the corresponding icons and panel buttons. After all the operations are done, then test the case on the steering wheel. After debugging is completed, a simple demonstration of the function, this is the radio. Support sound adjustment, you can adjust the sound according to your preferences. You can also adjust the speaker sound size alone. You can watch your favorite movies. Air conditioning information can be synchronized in real time. You can make a phone call from the screen. You can use the steering wheel to hand or answer. Support map navigation. You can also download other map software. Okay, there are other functions waiting for you to experience. The video ends here. Thank you for watching.